So here we are at the sole survivor of the seven ancient wonders of the world and the planet's oldest tourist attraction. Built for a father, son and grandson, the three pyramids of Giza have been steeped in mystery for thousands of years. So your name is Gomai, yes. that means Friday. Yeah. And this is Columbus. It's Columbus. Columbus the camel. Yeah. All right, so... You bought your leg here? This foot here? Yes, oh. the leg here. You yeah. stay there, Columbus, like yes. a nice yes. good yes. camel. Yes, you on it. That's right. Oh, That's right. Hold tight. Hold tight. That's right. Oh my goodness, this is very high up. <laughs> wow. Okay, if you're going to explore the pyramids, this is the way to do it on the camel. Wonderful. <laughs> See you later. Archaeologists continue to probe the pyramid's secrets, including renowned Egyptologist Dr. Zahi Hawass. Do you find that you're just constantly uh, excited and, and awed by, by what you find? And yes, I have been excavating in Egypt for the last 30 years, and i just finishing a book now. It's called The Search of the 30 Years of the Past of Egypt. And it's talking about the discovery that they do at the pyramids and the mummies at the Valley of the Golden Mummies that we found at Bahari Oasis for the first time. We found 324 mummies uh, in one area. And we are expecting that this valley contain more than 10,000 mummies. When you discover something, it's like mystery and magic. And when you write about it to the public, it's more magic. And this is why I enjoy excavating and working in Egypt. The oldest pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Cheops, was completed 2,570 years before the birth of Christ. You know, some people believe there's a strong and strange power inside the pyramid. They came here to make meditation. Yes. They came, have a relax and rest. So we have different series about who are the builders, Egyptians, Atlantis people, aliens people. You sure it was the Martians from <laughs> outer space? That's what I've heard. Yeah. Martians built Martians the Martians came to the pyramid <laughs> or Atlantis people came build the pyramid, go to the Mexico City, make another pyramid there. Yes. It's not true, this nonsense at all. This pyramid is long for us. Now these huge stone rocks have actually been worn smooth by the countless visitors who've come here to climb and simply to touch the pyramids. Now the original entrance is up above me here and there's another one over here that was actually made during the 9th century by tomb robbers. They didn't find anything. But we're going to go in there shortly to see the burial chamber for ourselves. I can't wait. You can no longer climb to the top of the pyramids and tickets to enter are limited each day. My guide Asharaf led the way. And we're standing in front the entrance goes down to a deep shaft. Wow. This deep shaft about 100 meters deep yeah. down underneath with scattered rock. There this shaft, is. yes, this shaft goes down to the first chamber underneath. First huge chamber, but also unfinished because the king changed design. What's your steps? So in the footsteps of the ancients, okay? But we have a surprise. Have a look behind you. Right. Yeah. Oh, and it continues going way on down. Yeah, it's right a down very there. deep shaft, about 100 meters ago down there. You know, I have been down there more than 100 times. <laughs> and you haven't found the treasure? Nothing, it's empty. <laughs> yeah. And you keep looking? Do you think that... Do you think there is any treasure in here? Anyway? No, 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 no. But anyway, we uh, continue our researches, our discovery inside the pyramid, because many people make a new series about the pyramid secrets and mysteries inside the pyramid. And we use the X-rays and radars, yeah. it is a solid blocks. Hey, Except the new discovery, which Dr. Zay told you about, yes. the robot in well, the second chamber here. You never know, you might find a Martian spaceship down there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can <laughs> find the base of the spaceship for Martian. Yes. Well, the original this Atlantis. nonsense. <laughs> this is not complete nonsense. <laughs> wow. And also, why Martians came and shoot, especially Egypt? The Great Pyramid was 146 meters high when built, and only nine meters have worn away after four and a half thousand years. Imagine before, when there were no steps like this, you could drag yourself up. Going by rope. rope. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 
You know, it was built by this shape, your leaves are weight. The weight in the center is very heavy. You must divide the weight in the side of the turbine. Yeah. 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 So, you know, it's perfect. As you climb through the great gallery to the king's chamber, you can view the incredible skill of the construction. the place of the mummy of Cheops. He looked like Egyptian mummy. Wow. So like a pharaoh, yeah. Watch out, the mummy's going to return. Yeah. I'm scared of the body here, okay? <laughs> but this is incredible. This is actually where the mummy was. Yes. It's wow. called sarcophagus here. And there's a cover to cover this sarcophagus. But it was broken by robots to take the mummy because it takes a gold and everything. And so the mummy went in the desert. We couldn't find the mummy of the ox until now. Yeah. This is spooky. This is really spooky. Yeah. Lying here on the sarcophagus that once held the ox. They never found his mummy. I made it. Me too. My next stop was a famous statue just a short distance away. So here we are, Sphinx and the pyramids. Yeah. Wow, what so a spot. We, yeah, <laughs> we're standing in front of the, the most biggest statue in all the world, Sphinx. The Sphinx takes the face of the King of Kephren, the features of the Kephren of Second Pyramid, and the body of Lion to collect between wisdom and the power strength. Yeah. Sphinx is the Greek name. His ancient name, Her Em Achet, that means I got Horus, holds the horizon. Yeah. Right. There's a nose for the Sphinx. We have different theories about the nose. Some people said Napoleon Bonaparte, an expedition of Egypt destroyed the nose by his guns. It's yeah. not true. No. It's a kind of uh, political propaganda for English people against mm -hmm. French people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, we have another theory said Arabian person called the Sa'an and the in the 12th century, the Sphinx in this time was completely covered with sand, and this man, by his horse, he can reach the nose and destroy the nose because it's an idol for him. Oh, really? Anyway, there's also a false beard for the Sphinx. Yeah. It's a fell down, and we have some pieces now preserved in the British Museum here. But you can imagine a Sphinx was cut from one piece. It was carved from one rock. Wow, it's incredible. About uh, 70 meters his length and 20 meters his height here. And when does it date to? When it's does it actually date? It dates back about 2,600 years BC. It's a date to the Folks dynasty for the reign of the king Kephren. Kephren, Kephren was the son of Kheops yes. here. I believe that we discovered until now only 30% of our monuments. Still, 70% is buried underneath the ground. 